What up everyone, Reege here for Animal Wire and we're back in the saddle baby with another ribbon worm. This time hailing from Taiwan, where he's freaking out anyone and everyone who's been hit by just a glint of that gorgeous pink proboscis. If you recall from our previous video, these voracious predators use their retractable appendage to grab a hold and pull prey inward where they often secrete a potent neurotoxin to lessen the struggle. The bright green fella here has actually been shown to possess TTX, which is the same deadly poison found in pufferfish, so probably resisting the urge to consume one isn't such a bad idea, even if sour apple is your all-time favorite Jolly Rancher flavor. But hey, it couldn't hurt to avoid skin contact either. And just look at the length of that thing. It goes to show how elastic and stretchy the muscly tissues of their body really are. In this case though, a ribbon worm isn't meant to be scuttling along dry asphalt. It requires a moist environment where it can effectively use its mucus to slide about. So maybe tonight we can all pour one out for our fallen comrade here, but hopefully the waters nearby are full of this guy's protege, which come in the form of tiny swimming hats. Yep, these funky little movers and shakers are the worm's larval form. But get ready because this is a bit of a head trip. During the first part of development, we see the larva motioning about, doing its thing like feeding on algae and whatnot. But then a little later down the line, another figure starts to form inside. It's a freaking juvenile worm, which completes its metamorphosis by bursting out of the larval body and devouring it whole. What a way to start your day. These proboscis worms never cease to amaze. So I guess I'll just go ahead and thank Uriel Garza again for making the introduction. And with that being said, yo dude, sweet creature.